Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha and in today's video I wanted to come on and do my June end of the month recap. Literally, I was looking at my videos and I feel like I literally just made this video. Like June this summer 2022 is just flying by. It's crazy. Um, yeah. 2022 going into July already. Uh, what is it? Friday? This Friday is the first of the month. So yeah, I wanted to get into how June went for me. June was really, I would say an up and down month. I was trying something new for the first time. <laughs> I was giving myself a little bit of leeway. I talked about this all month, the 70 and 30 diet meaning eating 70% clean and 30% whatever I wanted, which is a lot. 30% is a lot. Um, also, the last two or three months, I was doing the raw diet for at least a minimum of seven days per month. I believe May I did seven. April, I may have did 10. This month, I did three. So the whole lax thing was really getting to me. I did lose weight this month. I lost about four pounds this month, which is really, really good. The lowest weight I did see that was consistent is 224. I did talk about in last week's weigh in Wednesday that I did not weigh in this week because it is my menstrual and it just fluctuates a lot and it wouldn't be an accurate number. So going into July this weekend as well as way in weekend, way in Wednesday for next week, you guys will see an updated way in from me. Um, I also talked about shying away from weigh ins, and I noticed I've definitely been doing that. And I don't know if it's because I've been a lot more lax or just because I'm finally understanding that my weight will not go down every single day and my weight will fluctuate even if my diet is 100%, all those things. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of my progress and my consistency and my dedication. Um, this month I noticed, pro honestly, I feel like this month was a lot of self-sabotaging. Um, like I said, the lowest I've ever been, 224. And coming to terms with losing weight slowly because I've noticed my body changing a lot more when that is happening um, in a good way. Like I'm framing a lot more, a lot better, I should say. So there's that. But um, I noticed that like my cravings have been really, really bad. I have been doing... A little bit more of the overeating on things that I usually never have in my house so I literally have to go to the store and pick it up and that's something that usually strays me away from getting it because I have to go in my car waste gas waste money all that stuff if it's not in my house I shouldn't be eating it so just for example I'm go I went to Starbucks and I got um some of their danishes. I got some chips. I had to go out and get chips. Um I brought some muffins in the house. Just the ice cream. Well, ice cream I usually have in the summertime. But just things that I normally do not have, I've been going to get. So personally, and I'll talk about this in July's um you know, what I'm doing for July, but I really think I need to rethink the 70 30 and maybe switch it up to a higher number like 85 80 um something in that range because something gotta give i feel like i was a little bit too lax um and it showed a lot in my menstrual my menstrual hasn't been this bad meaning tmi but being heavy plus cramps i don't get cramps like cramps to where I have to take medicine and it's not like like four or five pills a day I literally take one pill but usually I can stomach my cramps and uh, keep it pushing but you know those cramps when you're like stuck in bed you're irritable you have cravings you don't want to talk you may be crying like those type of cramps I don't get well or I haven't had in months 
And yeah, I got them this month and it's probably because, you know, um, or well, for me, what I eat factors a lot of my menstrual, my attitude, my face, my face meaning acne, all that stuff. Your diet is medicine. Once you start messing with that medicine, you're going to start seeing it in all aspects of your life. So yeah, uh, like I said, you know, June wasn't a big fail. I I did a, I did really good in June. Was it as good as May? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Maybe that's something I should look at too and reflect on if, you know, the months prior. But what I will say is I noticed some things I didn't like in June that, you know, trial and error. This is a journey. Um, there's going to be some good. There's going to be some bad. But I know there will be some fixings <laughs> coming into July. And um, I know I'm up weight, but I'm not reflecting on that too much in this video because, like I said, it's the end of the month when, when my menstrual comes. So I should probably be up like two or three pounds. So it's not a good representation to put away it in here but um i'm pretty sure if i didn't have my menstrual i would be ending my weight would probably like 224 225 which would still be pounds lost i believe i started this i started this month at 229 but then again in the beginning of the month like i said i'm usually super bloated and i have my menstrual so that's like i said it's not a good representation but because my menstrual is leaving um, tomorrow, Thursday or Friday, I will still weigh in July 1st and, and go off that weight, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, look forward to um, July's, you know, goals and all that stuff. Um, June, like I said, was not a fail. However, there are things I could have tweaked and did better and shape up my diet a little bit more. I don't think my body likes all that junk that I was giving it, but I was saying, oh, 70%, 10, 70%, 30%, whatever I want. And yeah, just because I said it, that doesn't mean I should have followed it to the T or as much. So even looking at my calendar, I definitely had more lax days than good. So there's that. I hope you guys had a great June. If you guys want to let me know how it went down below, definitely share it. And we'll talk about going into July, the goals and where we're at, how much we want to lose, what is the diet going to be looking at, looking like, and all that good stuff. So I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.